Hello everyone, my name is Arpit. Today my topic is about degeneracy using transportation problem. As you can see, this is the given problem. There are certain rules to solve the degeneracy problem. First, we will see what is degeneracy problem. Degeneracy problem occurs when the when the uh, solution gives uh, when the solution is uh, like uh, where a number of allocated cells is not equal to number of rows and columns then we will we will have to go to degeneracy problem so uh, in the given solution first uh, before going to degeneracy problem we can see we should see if it's balanced or unbalanced uh, problem by calculating the total number of supply and demand so we can so we will get 125 so therefore we can go by uh, go to least cost method first and uh, as we can see i have crossed out using the least cost method by choosing the least value first and uh, if there are two values we can go to uh, we can use northwest method using uh, northwest method in uh, least cost method as you all know the cancelling out of the table uh, you can all try it at home this is a very simple step and after this we should uh, next uh, uh, next find the z value by we can see that uh, the allocated cells we should calculate uh, which gives the z value that is uh, as you can see 20 into 2 and uh, 15 into 3 and so on all the allocated cells i have arranged in uh, in the equation which gives the total of 890 but now we should after that we should go to the phase two which is uh, to find the number of allocated cells are equal or not to the number of columns and rows so th there is a formula called as m plus n minus one is equal to number of ce allocated cells where m is number of rows and n is number of columns so as you can see there uh, i have solved that m plus n minus 1 is equal to 7 where number of rows are 4 and number of columns are 5 which gives 8 is equal to 7 which is not equal so as you can see here it's not equal we can now we should go to degeneracy problem <coughs> As you can read there, uh, where a number of rows and columns are not equal to the number of allocated cells, we need to allocate a cell with epsilon to the least cell value to satisfy the condition which which uh, we should allocate the uh, least cell with epsilon where the closed loop, uh, closed loop cannot be formed. Here in the table, the C32 cell uh, I will allocate where, because it cannot form a closed loop and uh, next step is uh, uh, we should find the u and v value uh, for the allocated cell that is uh, the formula for that is ui plus vj is equal to cij so uh, by solving the equation in for every table uh, we should uh, always we should consider as u1 is equal to zero afterwards we should find the first value of first allocated cell that is two where uh, C, uh, for that uh, the table value is uh, the constant uh, table value is called as cij for cij the we know the formula is ui plus vj uh, should form cij so uh, u1 is 0 so for getting 2 we should uh, put v2 is equal to 2 so we can get cij that is 2 uh, like that only for every allocated cells if you, uh, we should give on uh, give u1 and v u and v value which uh, satisfies the cij value 
so i get u1 as 0 u2 as 6 u3 as 3 u4 as 10 u and vice versa v1 is equal to 12 v2 is 2 v3 is 3 v4 is minus 4 and v5 is minus 2 so next uh, we should find the values of unallocated cells here uh, in unallocated cells uh, we sh uh, there is a rule like uh, whatever the solution may come but uh, the value should uh, be equal or less than zero it should not be more than zero if it's more than zero we should again repeat the step mm. so the formula for unallocated cell is uh, pij is equal to ui plus vj minus cij uh, here pij is a uh, uh, the unallocated cells okay the that means the cells which are not allocated uh, in the previous section i mean in the previous table uh, those are called as the unallocated cells uh, if you all refer to that uh, table once means uh, you can see that uh, uh, that uh, i have put the same columns that is uh, c11 means the first row and first column c14 is first uh, first row and fourth column like that uh, i have seen i have checked the unallocated cells and uh, put the put their uh, values like c11 c14 c15 and substituting the u value and v value and the cell cij value which gives me this solution like you can see in see on the screen and here there are all the values are negative except uh, c11 and uh, c41 uh, which is plus 2 so uh, now we should go to next step uh, like uh, next step is we should uh, now there is a c11 right uh, uh, we can see that right c c11 and uh, c41 are the are the values uh, which are positive so in the in this uh, in the so in the next step uh, we'll go to to we should form we should form a closed loop yeah sorry that uh, even c21 uh, is 13 that's also a positive value and uh, to form a closed loop we should uh, uh, find the maximum value which is the which comes in c21 so the maximum is 13 so c21 and in the next uh, next column uh, we should draw the table again and uh, from c21 we should uh, form a closed loop uh, uh, drawing the we, uh, to form a closed loop we should draw only horizontal and vertical lines it should uh, it should form a closed loop uh, by joining the allocated cells only the so the lines only take turn where the allocated cell ends so uh, i have formed the closed loop as you can see and given each points uh, as uh, negative and positive uh, and in this uh, as you can see the uh, in the closed loop we should uh, in there are negative values so in the negative values which are which is the minimum value as you can see it's 20 in the negative cells i mean in the closed loop the negative cells 20 is the uh, ne negative uh, negative cells 20 is the allocated cell least 20 is the allocated cell so we should uh, subtract uh, 20 from the negative uh, and that is a minus sign and add 20 where there is plus sign so i get the i get this solution uh, as you can see uh, and mm, yeah this solution i get As you can see, uh, 
I mean skip the uh, C21 sigma value uh, sorry C12 sigma value if you skip that C2 uh, C12 sigma value even then the number of allocated cells is not equal to rows and columns that is a uh, then also it will come as a uh, 8 is uh, 8 is equal to 5 which is not equal so again we should uh, allocate a cell with the uh, sigma where it uh, it should not form a closed loop here i uh, draw i allocated uh, c12 that is uh, second uh, second uh, second uh, second column as a sigma value because it does not form a closed loop and again we should go to the we should find the uh, u value and v value as we have done in the previous uh, steps and again we should uh, find the allocated cells as you can see here uh, that is uh, pij is equal to ui plus vj minus cij and uh, after solving all the solution we can as you can see here we'll, we we are not getting any positive values so the optimality is reached so uh, i mean uh, uh, the so uh, it satisfied the condition is satisfied what's the condition is that uh, in allocated cell uh, in unallocated cells uh, there should not be positive values only zero or less than zero values so the condition is satisfied uh, and uh, so we can find the optimal value that is z uh, value uh, by ignoring the sigma sigma uh, we can ignore and uh, put the va uh, values over there As you can see there 35 in a, into 5 and ex excluding sigma 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 values there are 8 values now so it's satisfied we can go and uh, solve the z value I have solved it uh, according to the method only so the uh, ma the, le uh, the final answer I'm getting is 630 Hope you all have understood the problem. Uh, thank you.